Speaking of Paulo, we paid him to say that. I think that's everybody I know. All I know is you got no money, but that's got nothing to do with the good times. Sonic Youth spent last Saturday in New York Central Park playing a free concert with the original alternative act, space jazz legend Sun Ra, to celebrate the 4th of July. We're not really a flag day kind of people, but uh, it's just the fact that we're playing with the raw, and that's what we're celebrating. Before a hometown crowd, the concert gave Sonic Youth the chance to play some material from their latest album, Dirty. This one was a pretty easy one to work on. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a real smooth one. We worked with a producer named Butch Vig, you probably heard of. And um, that was cool. We finally, with him, found someone that we connected with for the first time as far as a producer. On Dirty, deal with contemporary political issues. A song like Youth Against Fascism is just basic kind of teenage headlines. Uh, you know, yeah, I believe in Anita Hill. Uh, the president sucks, things like that. I mean, that's okay. Who's going to argue that with us? The first single and video from Dirty is for the song 100%. It was written for a friend of the band's who died last year. We wanted to write a song about having a friend who dies, especially at our age, somebody who dies young like this, is, it's just like really kind of frightening. And especially when it's somebody who has such a potential future uh, as, as a human being, it's just, it's just really scary. Having been a part of the alternative music scene since the early 80s, Sonic Youth never dreamt that their brand of music would become as popular as it has. After the mainstream interest tra trails off, we'll still be doing what we do. It's just, you know, right now it happens to be crossing paths fine. We're into it.